since moving to Germany, I have learned a few things that you shouldn't say to Germans unless you're trying to annoy them. And why would you want to do that? You wouldn't, of course. So here they are. What not to say to Germans. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. Later Hosen. Anything like, where's your later Hosen? Or, all Germans wear later Hosen, don't they? Or, later Hosen. It's the national outfit of Germany, right? Is off limits. As I explained in this video, Yes, some Germans do wear lederhosen and dirndls, especially in the state of Bavaria, but definitely not all Germans. And people who live in other areas of Germany sometimes find it really annoying when visitors or people who have never been to Germany just think that all Germans everywhere wear these outfits. Light beer. If you're at a bar in Germany and you're looking for a drink with a little less calories in it, asking for a light beer or asking which of the German beers are light is going to get you one of two responses. Either the bartender will hand you a Helles, which is a pale lager beer and not at all particularly light in calories, but Helles literally translates into light, or the bartender will know what you mean and just give you a little sneer or roll their eyes at you. I've seen it happen. Germans are disgusted by Americans watering down their beer for a light version. They have no problem, however, watering down their wine. So my tip for you, if you want a lighter drink, maybe go for a Weinschorle, red or white, which is wine mixed with sparkling water. David Hasselhoff. It's flying on the wings of tenderness. You want me to turn it up? Why would you do that? Because it's David Hasselhoff. David who? David Hasselhoff. Don't tell me you don't know who David Hasselhoff is. Doesn't everyone in Germany just love David Hasselhoff? No, they don't. Not everyone. He had one song in 1989, Looking for Freedom, that with the fall of the Berlin Wall really resonated with the time and the feeling in Germany. But that's it. The relationship goes no deeper than that. So no, not all Germans love David Hasselhoff, let alone even know who he is. Sorry, David. White asparagus. Stefan, I just came from downtown and I'm telling you, they're all over the place. These, everywhere, every fruit and veggie kiosk, there's these vegetables that look like huge, what are you cooking? Spargel, of course. As I mentioned in a whole video just dedicated to Spargel, Germans go absolutely bonkers over their white asparagus. You go to bed one night in April and wake up the next morning, poof, the city is covered in these white stalks. Really, every fruit and veggie kiosk, every store, it's incorporated into every meal imaginable at the restaurants. Spargel takes over the place. So what should you not say to Germans here? From my experience, pretty much anything bad or making fun of their beloved Spargel. Not because it really upsets them so much, but just more because they don't seem to really get the joke or find it at all amusing. My American friends get it. They're like, yeah, that's the most phallic looking veggie I've ever seen. Forget about the eggplant emoji. Somebody needs to make some code for a spargel emoji. But Germans seem to take their spargel quite seriously. And whenever I've poked fun at it, they often just kind of stare back at me and then eventually follow up my comment with something serious and real about how delicious it tastes slathered in butter. Eurovision versus the World Cup. Back in 2010, I was in Germany for my very first Eurovision song contest. And one of Mr. German Man's friends was even having a party for it. Now, this was my first time ever hearing about the contest. And at the party, people got dressed up in funny costumes and there were a lot of people at the party. So it seemed to me like it must be a pretty big deal. I had been to Super Bowl parties in the US that had less enthusiasm. So yeah, 
I thought this must be something that's important to Germans. And it was a big year because 2010 is when Germany's own Lena won the Eurovision Song Contest singing Satellite. Yay! Congratulations, Germany! Okay, now fast forward a few months later, 2010 was also the year the World Cup took place in South Africa, and Germany made it really, really far, only to lose right toward the end so they didn't actually make it to the final game. Well, after that loss, the next day I had an English class to teach, and my students were all really bummed out because Germany had gotten kicked out of the World Cup. So to try to cheer them up, I said, well, I mean, Germany won the Eurovision Song Contest this year, so it just wouldn't be fair if they also won the World Cup. Like, you can only have one big win per year, you know, let some other country win the World Cup after you already won the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, apparently those two things are not comparable. So my question for you is, have you ever found yourself saying any of these things in Germany? And Germans, what else do you get annoyed about hearing? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And also a big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. And if you also want a cool t-shirt like what Mr. German Man has to show your love for Spargle, you can find out about that down in the description box below as well. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen. All you have to do is that I want you to start saying Spargel of course as you're turning. Spargel of course. I feel like I could really give my thanks if I had more space and I was able to like jump into the shot. Thank you so much for watching. No? Okay. I'll just try to do it normally then. After you won the Eurovision Little Maybe go for a wine short Vine short wine Charlotte. As I explained in which side would the video come on? <laughs> there are these vegetables that it's, yeah. <laughs>